Uh, my first poem um, is about something that's happening all around us in Ottawa. And um, I, I wrote it and didn't realize until after I'd written it that I wrote it as a haiku sequence. So it was a surprise, Grant. It's called The Ashes of March. The warning signs were there. Weak limbs roped to no avail. Leaves fell before they died. Final flush of seed, a legacy. Grubs fatten in pinholed bark. Woodpeckers drum out emerald borers above the chainsaw X. The street has lost its shade to firewood ashes. Where will the cardinal sing? Um, the second poem I wrote um, was for a friend um, who uh, talked to me for a long time about the fact that his daughter had moved to Africa. So I wrote this for him. He may set it to music. So it's kind of lyrical. For thine is Africa. You were mine, my little one, who rocked so gently in my arms and laughed at my stupidities. You grew, my lovely one, to challenge all my world and no longer listen to my endlessness. And so you left, my worldly one, fearless of machete, rape and AIDS, sowing knowledge, giving life and hope and praise. I needed you, my angel, to keep you safe, secure and loved in my conventional worldly ways. I dreamt your life, my golden girl, but they were my presumptions, a father's selfishness transposed. But now you're African, my love, seduced by her wilderness and her obsidian mysteries. You will not return. So forgive me, my gentle grace, for thine is Africa and free. Take care and sometime think of me. I always will be there. For although the seas divide us and time so quickly flies, we still can meet each other in the dreamland of our minds. And you're still mine my little one, to rock so gently in my arms and laugh at my stupidities. Thank you.